Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to the series where Cassie and I try to solve the weirdest and juiciest riddles on the internet. You guys are enjoying this series a lot, and Cassie and I are enjoying solving these riddles with you guys. If you guys want to see more of this as soon as possible, make sure you guys leave a like on this so we know you want more. Cassie is waiting for us right now, so no more talking. We're just going to jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Brad suspected his girlfriend Jane was cheating on him. Oh. <laughs> But he didn't know who her lover could be. One night, they were hanging out really late at the club. Yeah. They didn't have money for a taxi. Aw, oh, cheapos. And Brad suggested staying at his friend's place. This is my girlfriend, Jane. This is Dave. In the morning, Dave left for work early. Brad and Jane decided to have breakfast before leaving. At his place? Eating his food? Pass me the sugar, please. Empty. Oh, you're gonna be her? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, you be her then. Brad immediately realized that Jane had an affair with Dave. I feel like I know how. I think I know how to. She knew exactly where his sugar was. <laughs> <laughs> and that it was empty. She's like, oh, I, I polished that off last She's like, night. wait, I, I could have sworn I bought sugar at the store the other night. <laughs> How could she know where Dave kept sugar? Man, we're oh. one for one. Can you spot the hidden animal? No, because we are not doing this. Who is cheating, Cassie? Hurry, A or B. Uh uh, wait, he's got one sock. Oh, and the sock is at B's house. Yeah. <laughs> but why is the guy in picture A yelling at his girlfriend? Because he's insecure. <laughs> <laughs> he took off one sock, banged her out, and then left with one sock on. John went to the hospital with a serious heart disease. You have only two weeks left if we don't find a donor. John knew that he had an adult son, Oliver. John hired a detective to find his son. Soon, the detective came to John. I found him. Tomorrow, I'll bring Oliver here. Please don't tell him anything. That's huge, Just bitch. give me his address. I'll pay you well. The detective immediately understood something was wrong and refused to tell his address. But why? This old guy's going organ hunting. He's saying, like, don't tell him. Just let me know where he lives. Where did he get that money? I mean, it could have just been his life savings. True. We're about to figure it out right now. John wanted to kill Oliver and make him his heart donor. I knew it. Ashley found out that Evan was cheating on her. I love these cheating ones. She followed him to the restaurant where Evan was going to meet his lover. But Ashley couldn't see her face. She saw only her blonde hair and a bow on her head. When Evan left, she went inside and stabbed her. Ashley entered the restaurant. Oh, she mad, Cassie. There were three women with the same bows. Uh-oh. Who's Evan's lover? All right, I think I know who it is. Now you gotta guess. Let's see who's the most dressed for it. A date. It can't be middle girl. I don't think it's left girl. It's right girl. What? Yeah, I remember the bow was on the left. Oh, and so the you earrings. paid attention to the bow? Anna met Bob on Tinder. Damn, Anna fine. Yeah, she is. He invited her to a chic restaurant. Good luck, Evan. Everything was well until the bill came. Of course. Oh, no. Someone has stolen the money from my breast pocket. Do you believe that? Or was he broke the whole time? I want to believe it because that is embarrassing. Those people were hanging around my chair. Who? Show me them. Who stole his money? Man, that's not a great first impression on a date. The two on the right look so rich. Like she's like sitting there with her Chanel clutch. The guy looks like George Clooney. I think it was maybe the waiter. Yeah, the waiter looks like he's about to sweat bullets or something. Bob is lying. There is no breast pocket in this jacket. Oh. He faked the theft so that Anna had to pay for the dinner. <laughs> that is not funny. That is a crime. Where is the lover? Where is the lover? <laughs> Where is the lover? Where is like a foot or a hand or a skull? <laughs> Let me see if I can find oh. an eyeball. Oh, heart-shaped undies. <laughs> So wait, it does that mean the guy stuff. is either in the closet naked or what? Could be. Hey, Almost that barrel juice. looks a little hairy. <laughs> <laughs> That barrel's oh got a goodness. nice comb over. <laughs> How does he fit in there, though? That is amazing. He's three feet tall. Okay, where's the lover? Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's waving at us, Cassie. Where's the lover? <laughs> okay, got a pretty young thing. Oh! He's holding his breath, Cassie. Oh! <laughs> Okay, it's a little scary. We got Aquaman banging her out. <laughs> <laughs> comments. Hey, you don't need the comments for that. Just come to me and Cassie. We know exactly where he is. Laura was strangled in her apartment. Whoa. The police managed to find a witness. My name is Stan. I was passing by and accidentally saw a man strangling a woman. Oh, he was choking her out. Both of them were facing the other way and didn't see me. Yo, can you close that mouth one time? The policeman didn't believe Stan. Why, 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 why? Let's go back to this part right here. He called the police immediately as the person was getting strangled, but they came too late and the police didn't believe this guy. Why, Cassie? I, uh, I don't know. 
Wait, are the choke marks, like, are the fingerprints on the back of her neck? Because your fingers so. would be facing the back of the neck, right? <gasps> You're right! He said they were standing back to him, but the marks on her neck show that the killer was facing the victim! <laughs> Sean, Ginny, and Helen met in school after the summer holiday. Oh, that was the end of the sentence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they started talking. Who talking about how they spent this summer break. My father and I went to the mountains. We climbed to the top. Give me your best girl voice, Cassie, when the girl talks. My brother and I were in the desert. We even fed a camel. Wow. Fed a camel. Yeah, I have a better life than you. <laughs> yeah, so you check do. that out. My sister and I were on a tropical island. We were swimming in the ocean. So if you guys think your life is good, then, then, then we'll up yours. <laughs> up yours, a-holes. <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 I feel like, I feel like these photos are important, and I feel like I'm not even looking at them. They are very important. Oh, okay. Wait, but I think I called it out. But no one believed Helen. You're lying. Mm -hmm. The dad wasn't in the photo, you said? Yeah. She said she went on a vacation with her parents or something? Yeah, I think she said she went with her dad. Okay. And, like, this looks like, this looks like a spring break scenario. But what if the dad took the photo? Oh, that is true. The picture is fake. The picture is fake. The wind blows oh. the other way. What? So where was she? In a Hollywood studio? Where's her shadow? She photoshopped it to take it that far? Will was at the costume party. He met a beautiful girl wearing a mask. She thick. They were dancing, as they should. When Will got an urgent call and had to leave for a while. Oh my god, leave me alone. Why are you calling me on this night? When he got back, the girl had already left. Aww. Rip. He tried to find her on Facebook. Lila, Christy, Natalie. Who's the girl? Freckles are too low. The beauty mark is not there. I think it's bottom left. Yes! Oh, that girl had neither birthmarks Yay. nor freckles. Yes, 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 yes. How do you do it, Cassie? Yes, 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 yes. Detective Stevens was driving on the highway. Suddenly, he noticed a dead man on the sidelines. He stopped and examined the bore. It was a hitchhiker. Detective Stevens identified three suspects, Todd, Homer, and Ben, who could give him a lift that day. I never picked up any passengers, so I drove fast. I was in a hurry and didn't stop. I gave him a lift, but I didn't kill him. Who killed the hitchhiker? Todd, Ben, or Homer? Ben. Why, because he's the only one who gave him a lift? And there's an ax in his car. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, then. Well, that's pretty much a done deal. 25 to life, buddy. Wait, oh, Homer. Who's Homer? You oh! suck. Three friends were taking pictures at the party. Suddenly, they spotted a popular blogger, Olivia. Oh my god, popular. They asked Olivia for a few selfies with her. Would you say yes or would you turn it down? Uh, I'd be like, make it quick. Which of the girls is Olivia? Maybe it's the girl who's not one of the three in the other pictures, right? It's gotta be the, the girl in the dark green. Yeah, because everybody's like kind of crowding around her. Only this girl is in all the photos. <gasps> One morning, Bob left for work as usual. He was a famous singer and had lots of awards. Oh. When he got back home, someone was banging his girlfriend. Oh, no. I hope not. He found out that his most valuable trophy, golden microphone, was stolen. He called the police to report missing. The detective interrogated Bob's neighbors and four suspects, Adam, Mary, Louisa, and John. Louisa looks pissed. A house plan was found with each of them. Wow, really? They're going to that extent? Yeah, they are. Who robbed Bob? So were each of them made to draw a house plan? They each had a house plan? Yeah, they were all planning on it, but who, who pulled it off first? Which one is the most accurate of this house? Then we find the killer, or the murderer. I mean, the robber. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're probably gonna kill him later, you know? I think it's uh, Louisa. I think? Why? No, it's Just Mary, it Mary, Mary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's an alien among the secret agents. The best detective in the country took this case. He asked for all the agents' personal files, or personnel files. He identified four suspects, Neil, Allen, Stormy, Larry. He seemed to result in a deadlock when his young assistant suddenly cried. Can you give me a crying assistant voice? I know who the alien is. Mm, perfect. Mwah. Who is the alien? Neil A, Alan G, Stormy B, Larry A. Wait, but the assistant didn't tell us anything. I know, right? She was just crying. Oh, I know who it is. Oh, Neil A. Why? Because reverse is alien. It's aliens. Oh, and well, I noticed that his eyes were different color, but that is clever what you just did there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Murphy was returning home after shopping. It was already dark outside, and Mrs. Murphy was very afraid. Hey, it's scary walking alone at night. Suddenly, someone oh. grabbed all her bags and ran away. Sucker. Mrs. Murphy. Help. Help. Oh, you do it. You do it. You do it. Help. I got a police officer ran up. What happened? Someone has just stolen all of my bags. Did you see which way he ran away or what he <laughs> looked like? I didn't see his face, but he ran that way. The officer followed him, and he's smiling too. A nursing home. 
He must be hiding there. He entered and saw several doctors and patients in the hall. Who is the thief? Oh, this redheaded stepchild guy? But he's a doctor. Oh, but he's all ripped up and tattered. Yeah. Oh, we got him. We got him right where we, we want him, Cassie. Him. His clothes is shabby and tattered. He can't be a doctor. <laughs> where did he steal the stethoscope from? I don't know, at his ass. Mrs. Jones <laughs> woke up in the morning and found out that a large sum of money was stolen from her poise. Oof. There were only her 14-year-old sons. Aw, oh, that's a prime age of stealing from your mom. And 16-year-old daughter at home. One of my kids must have done it. She asked each of them about what they were doing last night. I went to bed early, soon after dinner. I was playing football in the schoolyard. I was at a nightclub with my biggest friend. What? Wait, how old are you? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 14 year old son. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> is there a red flag I could raise real quick? Because something ain't adding up here. 14 year old nightclub kid, eh? <laughs> I think so. I think Edward. All right, Edward. Yeah, freaking liar. Edward is lying. He couldn't be at the club because he was just 14. How did the mom not know who was lying immediately? My mom would whoop my ass. I know. If I was like, Mom, I was at a nightclub. The next thing you hear <laughs> is screams from getting whipped with a belt. <laughs> ah, Mom. Five people got a Halloween party. They got a Halloween party, Cassie. Andrea, 29. Alan, 32. Mary, 30. Ken, 25. Eric, 27. That's me. I'm a clown. One of them is going to kill another person. One is going to kidnap another person. <gasps> oh, what? with a paper bag. You have a few clues to find them. Okay, one, the kidnapper and serial killer are not of the same gender. Two, the first letter of the kidnapper's name is A. Three, the oldest person is involved. Four, the hostage and kidnapper are of the same gender. And five, the killer has the shortest name. Okay, so Ken is the shortest name. So Ken is the killer. And the kidnapper is Alan. Or Andrea. It has to be Andrea because it's the opposite gender. True. And the kidnapper and killer are not of the same gender. Got it. So it's Ken and Andrea. Um, the oldest person is involved and it's Alan. He is going to get kidnapped. Wait, the hostage and the kidnapper are of the same gender. <laughs> also, Andrea has to kidnap uh, Mary, right? Exactly, exactly. And then Alan is going to get killed. Yeah? yeah? Got it. You agree with that? Can I yeah, get I a agree. nailed it? Nailed it! Eric isn't involved in anything. Alright, get out of here, Eric. You're good for nothing. The killer has the shortest name. Yup. Ken. Ken. Bingo. Alan and Andrea can be kidnappers. Yeah, this was really actually a good riddle. But the hostage and kidnapper are of the same gender. Andrea is the kidnapper. And? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of Solving Riddles with Cassie. We actually did even more riddles on her channel. I will link that video in the description box below. If you guys have never seen her or her channel before, let her know in her most recent video that that dude sent you, and she'll know exactly what you mean. But if you want to see us do more riddles in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!